this is, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, I'm recording this as I'm driving. Um, I'm out here in Saginaw, Michigan, really, in Saginaw Township right now. And uh, yeah, this light here is going yellow, but the rest is still green. And the reason for that is because there's a rail track right there, and then it's going to go red. Bingo. And interesting, I did not see this before, but there is actually a green arrow right here. Oh, wow. I, I never saw that before. There is actually a green arrow signal right there. I cannot tell if that go. It probably goes right when there's a train. But, yeah, I, it's hard to tell. I can't see the track. And then there's another light right here. And uh, this light is on a timer. But it doesn't stay red too long on the side traffic. So, I'm trying to see if that's a... No, that's always a green arrow. Oh, I see, because of the way the track is set up. Oh, that's really smart. They're like, why hold up traffic going to the right when they can go because the train ain't going to be there. Okay. So, anyways, how you guys been? Um, the reason I'm recording this is because I want to show you what my town looks like when all the lights are flashing. And for me, too, because I ain't going to see this again until I'm in December. I don't even really care about flash mode anymore. But, you know, it's just, it's kind of interesting to see how they do different things around here at night when the lights go off. And I don't know if you can see that, but um, the traffic signal up here, it's flashing back and forth between the regular lights and the, yellow, the left flashing yellow arrow. And I also think that's a four-way cluster setup, too. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look here. I don't know why I'm putting my blinker on, but... Yeah, I'm trying to get a close look at that. There ain't no cars out here, so that's why I don't really care so much. Oh, look at that. Okay. That is different. It flashes back and forth like that. You see this shit? And then the red lights... They stay the same, huh? Wow, <laughs> that is so weird. So the red lights all flash with each other on the on the side, including the arrows. But uh, let's, you know, I don't know if you guys can see that back there, but yeah, that's some crazy shit. I that's a first. Just roll through Saginaw real quick. It is uh, midnight. And I gotta go up to Tawa City in all gray. I'm packing tomorrow because I'm going home Friday. My dad, I don't think you guys know this, but my dad got a serious car accident. Uh, I don't know how he survived it, but he did. I'm thankful, but I'm hoping he can walk again. He was on a ventilator and he got off that. He was on, on a oxygen, got off that through a trach. He still got the trait, but they're going to get that out of him. He just got moved down to a town called Sterling. And right here is a cluster setup of the flash yellow arrow four-way setup with the lights uh, two-way, two-way. I, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it's something like this. You don't really want to slow down because there's a guy that wants to go through. That's how it looks over there. Pretty cool setup. I don't have a light on my on this phone, no flasher. So shout out to Subway and fuck you, Jared Foggle. Hope you're getting raped in prison because you deserve it. Anyway. But yeah, man, it's really cool to see flashing yellow arrow four-way clusters, man. That's like so awesome. And they function out here in Michigan. If you if any of you have ever been to Michigan and have seen the way our left turn signals are set up. The reason why they're set up like that is because that's the way we we're familiar with it, with the flashing red ball. Now that light up there is always on. It's been like that forever, but that light has sensors on it. Here's another flashing yellow setup, arrow setup right here. Yes, the yellows on, this, on these lights, they all flash yellow. That light right there is green arrow. But I'm not turning right, although by the time I get to it, it's going to be right anyway. Well, 
almost. Yeah, every light here has got a doghouse light except for this one right here. That signal right there. They just put these on poles a few years ago. Okay, I'm going to get the green light here. Yeah, this light has always been on sensors. Every light up here has always been on timers. If I, actually, this light up here, the one that's ping-ponging back and forth, this one also ping-pongs on the red sides also. I took a video of this for you guys to see, too. I'll show you it in a little bit in a, in a second when I get you. Actually, I can show you right now. Sorry for uh, moving the camera. I just want to be safe here and not get in an accident, you know? Don't play Pokemon Go while playing this game either. I've almost gotten a few accidents doing that. See, it flashes on the red also. So, uh, let me find somewhere to... Oh, that's just... Don't worry about that. That's just my car. I just need to downshift. I'm driving it standard. Driving standard and doing this is a pain in the ass. At times. But I'm so used to doing this that this doesn't even bother me. Alright, I'm going to turn around. Shout out to Fashion Square Mall. Alright, and as you can see, the red lights are also flashing back and forth. Now, in some areas, you'll see the red arrow flash instead of yellow for yellow lights. Personally, I don't think it matters. Alright, let me roll the window down so you can see this better. See yellow flashing right there, got red flashing right there, yellow flashing, sorry for the glare. I think that's really cool. That little bouncy sound. Okay, my video might end at the seven minute mark. I do not know. Let's find out. Uh, I'm going to turn. No, it didn't end. Okay, cool. If it does, I'll just make another video. And then this one is the classic Michigan setup when it flashes as well. It's actually pretty warm out here. It's like 71, 74 degrees and humid as hell here. I mean, that's not hot for me because I'm, I live in Texas now, down in San Antonio, but back here in Saginaw, that's hot. Okay, right here, see how this is set up right here? That's our left flat, that's how the, we call it the left turn with the flashing red ball. That's how we used to do permissive ways and stuff. Now it flashes red on the on the left turn ball and yellow, but on the side it flashes that way. So yeah, pretty cool, huh? All right, now I'm gonna show you some more lights here. Hopefully, I'm not out of space here on my SD shift. I really want to show you guys some more cool setups before I leave Michigan. And you guys are a really cool group. You know, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If you guys want me to make more videos, I can. There's some cool stuff I see in San Antonio, too. There's also a cool video that I took where uh, I found 8-inch uh, traffic signals out in uh, Alpena, Michigan. And they had the old-school pedestrian lights still working. Like, walk and don't walk incandescent you name it and yes we do like to hang stop sign light boxes too which i think is really awesome yes that is not just so you know that is not being reflected that is lit up just so you know because i know it's kind of hard to tell from here okay these lights are also flashing not surprising my dad's gonna be like where the hell are you I hope I didn't just cuss or say the F word in there about putting the video. Sorry if I cussed in it because I cannot remember at the time. All right. And, oh, yeah, I have to stop. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, it's a four-way stop, this one, that is. I don't know why they made it a four-way. I guess they said, you know what? We don't know who should get the right-of-way, so let's just make this a four-way stop. That's probably what they did. And yeah, down the street from here, and, yep. Down the street down there is another light flashing. But yeah, Michigan's like one of the only states that I see does flash mode anymore. I noticed that Flint, Michigan, half their lights stay on now. Even if they don't have, even if they're still on timers, you know? So, all right. Now we're coming up to our next intersection. This is Bay Road again. We were just there a moment ago at that light that wasn't in flash mode. 
Okay, now this this thing right here, those left onlys are reflective. They do not have lights on them. And of course, pedestrian signals are dark. Oh, that guy's going fast. Well, if I get over here, it's all good. Oh, wow, that signal's still on up there. Huh, wasn't expecting that. I think it has a sensor on it though, anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Oh, I wanted to drink a can of my Surge. Uh, it's empty though. Oh, that pedestrian light's gonna go, is going off, so it may actually go red on me. If it does, you'll get to see the Michigan. Oh, no, nope, it's totally sensors. Yep, they all, yep. Unlike here, we don't have the signs that say yield for flashing left arrow because we pretty much no understand that already. Say what you want about Michigan drivers, but they are a hell of a lot better drivers up here in Michigan than they are in Texas, except maybe Detroit. I know Detroit's pretty bad. It can't be bad compared to Dallas and Houston and Los Angeles, though, Jesus Christ. I don't know what the hell that was, it was a bag. A bag of something, I don't know what it was. And I love how we got these, you know, we've been doing this forever with these left only things, or and then we also put one way or stop signs. I love the way we do our lights in, in Michigan, I really do. We have some interesting varieties too. I know New York's known for its randomness, but we're more known for our uniforms. Okay, this light, uh, that's just a point. I was hoping I'd catch this light in flash mode, because I've seen it in flash mode before. This light is weird because even though it's a standard, you know, steady red, it flashes. It does go in the flash mode with the steady red there and all that. So yeah, it's pretty something. But, oh well, that's too bad. I'm really surprised that light's on. They must have changed that really recently, because I remember this fl that flashing at midnight. Oh, I kind of hit my car hard. Huh. Whatever. No big deal. Yeah, I, I uh, was getting ready to record this, and I see a cop there, and I got my four ways, and I'm like, oh shit, I better get going, because if he c c pulls me over, he's just going to be like, is there a problem? Something wrong with your car or anything? I'm like, uh, no, I was just going to take a video and just simply record traffic signal setups and stuff. <laughs> what the? I don't know what he, he, he the thing is, though, because he probably believed me because of how weird that sounds. Oh, wow, these lights are still on, too. That's weird. It's midnight. Huh, oh, well, whatever. I don't know how much space I got left on here. I turned the quality down. Yeah, we got this old yucky box setups now. I hate these damn things. Now this light is not on a sensor. These lights are on timers, which is another reason I'm kind of surprised that this light is on. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, but with the air conditioning on, so it's not so sticky in here. So yeah, I got the stupid box set up. Except there's no lights there because it's a one-way. You see how we got the one-way sign there? Now on the other side, right there's a one-way. There's nothing right there because there doesn't need to be. And also, I can only turn left coming up because they're doing road work hours. This is Davenport and Bay. And then I'm going to be on, not, is it State Street? Yeah, State Street and Bay. Also, a fun fact. In Michigan, Washington... And two other states I can't think of offhand. You can actually turn left if it's a one-way, even from a two-lane road, if that makes any sense. Where in every state, just about, you can do that if you're on a one-way road, and it's a one-way road itself. But if, if it's a one-way road going left, and you're on a two-lane road, you can still turn left. Most people in Michigan don't know that. I do that sometimes in Texas, too. I bet I get funny looks. I know it's legal there, but it's legal here. So, hope you guys are just enjoying my video of me going through Saginaw. I'm a little bit in the hood now. Not completely, though. I'll let you know when I get in the hood. The hood, oh, I, I don't like the hood of Saginaw. 
And I'm only gonna be driving through parts of it too, so. Alright, these lights are all flashing yellow. That's 